It's not just being nice, it's being manipulated. If you're a people pleaser, the statement that you're manipulative isn't true in 90% of cases and it won't help you at all. In fact, it can even add more fuel to the fire, especially if you have a lot of narcissistic people around you that try to blame you for their actions. Did you ever ask yourself, why are people pleasers more likely to commit suicide? It's because they're manipulative? No. And by the way, I have another video on the topic of people pleasing the empathy narcissistic spectrum and healing your inner child. If you want to check that out, it would help me. The reason people pleasers are suicidal is because they have built their identity around the lowest emotions on the consciousness scale. Shame, guilt and fear are the lowest emotions that a human being can feel. And imagine living in a chronic state of shame, fear and guilt. This will make you feel like you are safe only when you put other people's needs above you. This will make you feel like you were born to please and be the slave of the people around you. Because otherwise you don't feel worthy. This is a phone survival response. You are living in survival mode. It's dangerous for you, not for someone else, but specifically for you. I'm sorry that you've been conditioned that way since you were very young. You are not meant to put yourself on fire to keep other people warm. Now here's the catch. Can you be manipulative sometimes? Well, if you avoid all sorts of conflicts at all time, sometimes you may turn out to be passive-aggressive. And I would give as an example one of my ex-friends from high school who knew that our mutual friend was incredibly toxic to me. He still continued to speak to her and tried to be on our both sides if you understand what I mean. After a while I started to see her as fake ma and manipulative rather than trying to solve the conflict. But then she entered the relationship with a very jealous, toxic and controlling guy. And she didn't leave him, even after all the advice that me and other classmates gave her. I realized that maybe she was manipulated by my ex-friend just like me, the same way that she's manipulated now by her toxic boyfriend. I hope I explained the story well. I think you are as manipulative as digital marketers because it's kind of in our human instinct that if someone gives us something for free, we feel like we owe them something afterwards, even if this person didn't necessarily wanted this. Take the examples of digital marketers who are using uh, free lead magnets or buy from them afterwards. Are they being manipulative? Well, I don't think so, although others may feel different. If people found the freebies valuable enough, probably they want to buy the high ticket pro products because they explain more value. It's not out of obligation. I think so. Let's say you offer a lot of emotional support to someone and then they feel like they owe you something because of that. Maybe they will feel like you're manipulative if they're kind of traumatized and might see this as a trap. Now, how can you get rid of the feelings of shame and guilt? Well, the key is to do shadow work. And shadow work may look extremely different for each person. You can feel positive emotions if you can process the negative ones. Explore where your core wound comes from, when did it started, and from who. Explore your shadow self and see why you feel so bad to stand up for yourself. The shadow work is more to accept the dark side of yourself and integrate it. You might also want to do somatic exercises because sometimes feeling can get trapped in your body and we can process them mentally. I'll post more videos about these topics in the future, so if you found this valuable, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and see you next time. Sorry for changing my background.